Does PS4 Remote Play work on the Razer Kishi and the Razer Jungle Cat? Let's find out. Real quick, if you're new to the channel, please like, please subscribe. It'll help us out a ton. You'll get to see our videos as soon as they are posted. Let's go. Um, we've actually been testing this out for a few days and have been pretty impressed by mm -hmm. it. So it's pretty simple to set up. Do one of these right here. You push, you pull. And you, you push, push again. Push, pull, push. Push, pull, push. P -p -p. So the first thing you're gonna wanna do for this to work is download PS Play, Unlimited PS4 Remote Play. Quite a wordy title. So you'll wanna install that. Once it's installed, you will open that app. It'll go through a process of linking with your current PS4. Mm -hmm. Pretty simple to do, pretty self-explanatory. Um, and then once that's done, click connect and it will connect. And it goes Fast. It's pretty quick. That is way yep. faster than I've ever had it connect with the official remote play mm -hmm. app. Um, we should mention that this is a $5 app, so there is a slight extra cost involved, but so far it's worked pretty well. So once you're there, you open this up uh, and you start playing. Yep. We're, on, we're playing Ghost of Tsushima right now. It's, oh, we're at a standoff. Oh, okay. Oh, okay. So. As you can see, things are working. Yeah, guys, from our experience, which we've been playing with this for a while, it's very responsive. Very, very responsive. It it seems to work like you're playing PlayStation 4. Like it's. Would you agree the only time it doesn't feel it is is it when it's more on the remote play side of things? Yep, I do think when it the has only, its random pickups. The only time it lags or seems weird, I do believe that to be a internet or a remote play feature. The actual, when it's running, the, the controls are very on, responsive. Yeah. They seem about as responsive as just playing the yep. PlayStation. So. It works really well. Like we said, every button seems to work pretty much exactly like you would expect it to work on a PlayStation. The one difference is that this arrow over here will be your options button. This arrow is your share button. So they already have that map. That yep. already works out. The home button works as your home, home button. button. Yep. Everything works exactly as you would think with the exception of the touchpad. The touchpad is now on your screen. And it took us a little time to figure it out. In fact, at first we thought it didn't work at all, but we actually found out you can go into the settings of this and change your sensitivity. And that's within the PlayStation. And it seems like double tapping seems to be so the... So you wanna like bring it yep. up and then you'll tap it again. So you'll have to kind of hit it. If you wanna just tap, like if you were gonna just tap the touchpad, you'll wanna tap it twice kind of at a normal speed. If you're wanting to swipe, you wanna hit, hold, and then move. That like in some games, you know, use the swipe. Ghost of Tsushima uses the swipe on the on the touchpad quite a bit. So you can still do all the touchpad gestures. It just is a little bit different. Like I said, you kind of want to touch first, then do whatever mm -hmm. gesture, or touch and touch again for a tap. So it's a little different, but overall it does work. Yeah, because originally it had a setting on there where it was set to seven out of 35. So we adjusted all the way to 35 to 35, which made a huge difference. Would you agree on the touchpad portion? Oh yeah. So it, do, it does make it much more playable now. Yeah, because I thought at all first it just wasn't working. Yep. So the other thing that is, still a little strange is the uh just the volume you almost want to set the volume where you want it before you hook up your phone to it at least from our experience yeah because as of right now like yeah. i just turned the volume it's almost all the way out and call it's, volume it's and not, still yeah not the speaker volume as far as for bluetooth headphones i've been able to get that to work getting loading up the game first then plugging it into the kishi um you know you can't use wired headphones through the usb jack unfortunately just for charging but for the bluetooth i was able to get it to work to where you can adjust the volume on that up and down so so honestly the volume is really the only issue we've had everything else works pretty perfectly on yep. it. so let's try out the jungle cat yeah so we don't have the official case for the galaxy note 10 plus but this case works close enough so we're using it the jungle cat hooks into the case with your phone very similarly to the way the Switch does. Mm -hmm. And the buttons and everything feel pretty similar to the Switch. I believe these are the actual... It feels just like the Switch. I believe these are the actual sticks, sticks from yeah. the Switch. This is a little different. You'll actually want to pull up your Bluetooth settings. Or you will turn on the Jungle Cat by turning on those... You'll drop your phone. Yeah, you drop your phone. You'll turn on these two switches right there and that will turn them into pairing mode. I believe we're already paired. Yep, we're already, you'll click Jungle Cat left. 
and that will pair the left to your phone. It will automatically pair the right to the left and you're good to go. And I believe we should be back in business. Yep, and now we're running. Everything's as it should be. It is Bluetooth, so the so the ability for it to lag is there a little more, but it still feels pretty responsive to yeah, me. Yeah, I thought it's... I mean, when you admit, it's actually way less noticeable than you'd think. <laughs> I am getting a little confused with the stick placement because... Because yeah, you just got used to this? I, yeah. <laughs> um, but yeah, overall, it, it's working pretty much exactly the same. There is one big difference to this, though, is everything else works the same. There is no home button. So if you do want to go back to the home page on your PlayStation, you'll want to hit this button, click down here, then hit the home button. Yep. So it's a, a couple extra steps, but... It works, mm -hmm. it works, and it works just fine. Yeah, um, so obviously this isn't necessarily a review of the app per se. We just wanted to show you guys that this does in fact work, but I will tell you the app's impressive. Yeah. It loads app, quickly and it works impressive. really well. And as far as we know, this is the only app that does make the third party controllers work with mm -hmm. the PlayStation Remote Play. So for $5, I'd say that's worth it. Yep. It's almost- You can either get a foot long or you can get the app. Yeah, it's, it's pretty <laughs> much like having a Switch, a Nintendo Switch for your PlayStation in yep. a way. I mean, it feels very similar. I'm pretty excited to use it. So I actually like like remote play. I really like playing games comfortably and actually playing Spider-Man in the backyard, Adam. This is pretty fun. It's pretty responsive. It's like working real well. It's pretty exciting that this is a possibility. For sure. Anything else you want to say about it? It's great. It's fantastic. No, honestly, guys, the app works great. And you obviously have to be familiar with remote play, but depending on your internet connection, everything else, it works really well. So we haven't had any issues with there. And once you Go into the settings to set up the touchpad. Everything works wonderful. But, so that's um, our impressions on the Razer Kishi, the Razer Jungle Cat working with remote play. We're very impressed. Mm -hmm. If you've liked this video, please hit the like button. Please comment and please, please subscribe. Helps us out so much. And if you really, really are feeling it in your heart, hit the notification bell. <laughs> That'll Only just, if you're feeling it. It'll make our day. <laughs> no, but if you guys have any questions about it too, the app and remote play too, let us know in the comment section as well. So. Yeah, we'll try to answer as best we can. I mean, we're not experts on this. We just, we wanted to try it. Yep. And so far it's working. So, hope you guys enjoyed the video. Have a great day. Thanks, guys. It's been a while. How do you do the, how do you do the thing here? <laughs> uh, R2. Oh, there we go. Okay. I had to remember. It's been a while. Actually playing Spider-Man in the backyard, Adam.